what's up y'all it's your girl sass and i'm back with another video straight facts if you haven't already make sure you drop those comments down below subscribe to this beautiful lovely channel and make sure you leave a drop a comment down below <laughs> drop a comment down below what was your favorite part of the video and make sure you like this video do not dislike this video to the new people that subscribe thank you for subscribing and welcome to the ls gang 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 and if you haven't already, make sure you tell your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your brother, your baby, mama, baby, daddy to subscribe to Life of Sassy and come join the team right along with you guys. So as you guys can tell by the title, I am doing a story time slash mukbang. I've been waiting to dig into this pool. And I hope they left me a straw. I don't know if this is a straw for it or not, but I'm going to have to do do any of y'all do that like when y'all get like straws and stuff like that or drinks do y'all check or blow in a straw to make sure they don't have no nothing in the straw i asked for tea oh, i hope i don't waste this now i get fucking upset but if y'all around the metairie or kenna area um it's the popeyes the popeyes where i got this from it's the popeyes on veterans we always the last the last um two times i've been there they've been hooking me up like they give me they they will give me more than what i asked for and i'd be like i ain't asked for this and he's like i know i know um and i think the manager i always see him i think he's the manager he always trying to flirt with me so today he asked me how old i am and i think he was trying to figure out so he can flirt but then he gonna try to turn around and say you look like a baby and i said oh, yeah i get that a lot or whatever or i get that i look younger than what i am sometimes i get i look that i'm older than what i am depends but i got a two-piece spicy dark they gave me a three-piece extra fries and an extra biscuit i know i'm not eat all this i just got a two-piece spicy dark the regular side is the red bean and then extra fries they gave me fries and I didn't ask for extra biscuit. They made, gave me another biscuit. But they did this like I went there like two weeks ago. And I knew I was getting going to get there late. And I didn't want nothing too heavy. I just wanted something on my stomach. So I was just going to get a side, of, uh, a side of red beans and a biscuit. First of all, it would be taking too long. They would be taking too long. So I would be looking in the window like, damn, like, what y'all doing? So, I guess when I was looking, I was looking mean. And so, he was like, damn, you all that mugging. And then, when I get the bag, I'm I'm feeling it like, damn, this shit heavy. Y'all, I love sweet heat sauce. I got sea salt, too. Sweet heat sauce and honey. But, he was like, I felt the bag. Damn, this shit heavy. So, I look at it. I said, this is a large red bean. He said, I know. We about to close. And... I'm giving you some extra. I said, okay. Thank you. But, as you guys can tell by the title, this is a mukbang. I, um, uh, put on my social media, like, some story time that you guys wanted to know. I felt like I haven't told this story in a while. But I'm going to say my first fight. Um... I have two. One I consider, one, both of them I consider fights, but one I was younger than. I, both of them I was young. One of them I was six, and the other one I no. One of them I think either I was six or seven, and the other one I was eight. But yeah, I wanted to talk about my first fight. Um, and then I'm gonna talk about the other topics that other people gave me. So my first fight. So, I believe that, I think I was in 7th grade. I mean, not 7th grade. I believe that I was 7. And I dated this boy named Jimmy. And Jimmy used to try to try me sometimes, I believe. I don't remember. But, all I know is, I think I had some orange. Either, yeah, but probably some oranges from lunch. And I took it, and I took the, um, you know how some people don't eat some people don't eat like the the whole orange they just eat the um 
little stuff out and then they spit the little plastic part out i can't describe it so i took that i did that i eat the whole orange now but i'm probably at the time i don't think i ate them and i put them in the peelings and i took that i remember we was fighting it was on the playground and i took it and i threw it in his face and i put him up against this uh the gate the gate at the school the school at the time was mcdonald 42 that was my school I love that school and I used to love standing in the seven wall. Um if y'all see that I got that in my hair. But um yeah at the time it was McDonald 42 and I used to love um I used to love that school like oh I used to love that school so um I believe yeah so I think we was fighting and um I threw some the orange pillars in his face and um we was fighting i think on the gate it had some spiderwebs and i had spiderwebs all on me oh oh i ain't forget another fight i had i been down to 42. it was a girl her name was jasmine or jessica something with a g and this was my friend at the time i had a what was that oh yeah Like, why was I so bad? But, um, ooh. but yeah, it was this. I had, ooh, I think it, I had like three fights at that school. But, um, that wasn't even the fight I wanted to talk about. Oh my gosh. But thinking about it, it was a, a girl named, um, I don't fucking remember her name, but, um, I think me and her were friends. I don't know. But, um, I can't remember what happened, but I know that, um, she called her mama for me, but, um, you know, she called her mama for me and she took rocks and she threw it on me. So I took a rock and I threw that ass back and she called her mama for me. My mama was like spinning in my face and talking. And so, my little ass at the time, this all ever down for to my little ass at the time, I was a little bad child. I think I, I think I spit in her face. I don't know what the hell I did, but I know I got suspended for it. But then I had another fight with a, the girl named Jasmine or Jessica. And this was my friend, and she was a little. I think she liked girls, and. She wanted to try some shit so we walk into the bathroom and some people getting water some people go into the bathroom and then getting their water i think i got my water first and then when i was getting the water she grabbed my butt so i was like wait i don't know what happened at that at that time i don't know if i smacked her i don't know but we started fighting and we ended up in the bathroom. And then from the bathroom, we ended up in the hallway. And then all my buttons, I think I still got a picture. All my buttons on my uh, button down shirt, all that it was gone. Because when I was dragging her, I was beating her ass. When I was dragging her, she was grabbing on my shirt. She was yanking on my shirt, and all of the buttons popped off. I'll never forget that. But the other fight I was talking about was when I was eight and I was staying on Viola Street in the east and me and my sister had friends. I forgot one of their names, but the other one name was Deja. And we used to do a lot of shit together. Like we used to have this clubhouse. We used to um we yeah, we used to have this clubhouse. We used to um go to the store like get money from our parents and go to the store eat food in the clubhouse share food talk do little sleepovers here and there and this specific time i don't know what happened but i know that it was fourth of july or around fourth of july my mom had got a water slide and she was talking about my little brother she was saying how he going down the water slide he's still ashy he got water on him 
Um, and I'm like, don't play with my little brother. But I'm playing, don't play with my little brother. So, I think, I don't know what the hell happened. These things were so long ago. That was bad. But, um, God, this chicken be so greasy. That's what I don't like. I be having to pick all over it. But, um, I don't know what happened, but I know that we ended up getting into an argument. And then my, um, my oldest brother was like, he had all the little neighborhood kids. And he was like, if I put something on her shoulder, somebody got to knock it off or vice versa or whatever. They just little, it had to be maybe about three, three or four little neighborhood kids. Plus, uh, my sister, no, my brother and, um, their people. So, I believe that... I, I don't remember who put what on what. I don't know if they put something on her shirt and I knocked it off. Or they put something on my shirt and then she knocked it off. But I know we was fighting. And she she um she was kind of getting me. She had pulled my little balls out and everything. She pulled my balls out. And then after that, I was tearing her ass up. Then, then this bitch, she bit me. She bit me on my fucking cheek. On one of them cheeks, I don't remember. She bit me, and that was all she fucking wrote. Cause I was tearing her ass up, and they picked me up. I think my brother picked me up and brought me in the house. And I was so mad. Oh, I was so mad. But then after that, then the, Katrina came, and then I don't ever know what happened to whatever happened to the the, the children. But. I want to say after that we uh we started we we started being back friends. I I, I want to say I can't remember, but y'all that was terrible. And then somebody wanted to know, well, one of my friends, her sister wanted to know my first boyfriend. Y'all, I had little small little boyfriends here and there. Like uh, I never forget. I used to date this boy named Courtney. We was going to uh, Gregory together, and I used to love me some Courtney. We used to be kissing on the back, the back of the seat, I mean the back of the bus, when I used to be going home from Gregory. Oh, excuse me. But I never forget them times. Like I miss those times. But my little, um, <coughs> my little. Um, My little boyfriend, um, that I thought I had his name was, he was a twin, and my sister dated their friend. So all of the twins and the brother, the twins and the friend had was hanging together in Bunker Hill. This one I stayed in Bunker Hill, and uh, I don't know who gonna see this, but I know they know in New Orleans. But at the time, I thought that was my boyfriend. Well, I thought, but one name was Damien. Well, the twins' name was Damien, Damien and Davion, and I dated Damien. I just thought he was the cutest. I used to like, I used to love me some little, um, some little Damien. Um, and I'll never forget. Um, my and my sister dated their friend. His name was Twan. I think Twan passed away a couple of years ago. But uh, I've seen Damien and Davion one time in a in a. Uh, at the gas station one time give him a hug and stuff like that they ain't got so look so they got so grown like we all got grown but um but my sister dated their friend twine so we used to be in bunker hill and then whenever a twine come about you every time you see the twins you see twine or if you see twine you see the twins and i don't forget one time they was in the back we was in the back of the house who was kissing and shit who i was who i was bad while i think about it i was trying to fit in i would say trying to fit in and be down and shit but um 
Her no business doing that shit. I think I was like, when I said in Bunker Hill, the last time I said in Bunker Hill, I think I was about 13. 13. When you start crushing and liking boys and shit. And well, I just knew. I just knew that that, that was going to be my love. But <laughs> that was my first little boyfriend. I just thought we was going to be forever. It was going to be a forever thing. Um, I don't know what they're doing now, but I seen them a couple of years ago. Maybe about three years, about two, three years ago. No, I would say about, yeah, about two years ago. I seen them, him and his brother. I was like, oh, hey. My little stuff gave him a hug. She ain't got nothing to talk about because we, um, I don't know why we started. I think we stopped. We just stopped talking because we ended up moving from Bunker Hill. And things wasn't the same. Like, I don't know. Things were just not the same. Like, mm. Dad would put honey on your biscuit. I usually put some sweet heat sauce on it, but I forgot. I mean, it's too late now. But, um, but yeah, y'all. I thought me and Damien was going to be forever. Like, we were so cute together. And then, yep. I know what the fuck happened. But, um. I just know the story time. I just know the story time. But, um. That's all I have for y'all, y'all. That was my first boyfriend. And my first fight. My first fight was at. Seven or eight. And then. My first boyfriend was about 13 or 14. We were so cute. And we used to be sneaking in the back of the house and kissing. And he used to be touching on everything. Um, damn, this shit was crazy. And then, I didn't have a boyfriend in high school. Them, them niggas was ugly. High school niggas was ugly. But six, seven years, six and seventh grade, I had a boyfriend. Courtney was my little boyfriend in sixth grade, and Damian was my little boyfriend in seventh grade. I dated a boy named Travis too. Well, I, I didn't really date him. I was trying to figure out what the fuck it was. I know one time he came to the house, and then we used to be texting and shit. I was so, oh my gosh. We used to be texting and shit, and then I think one time he came over that my mom wasn't there. We was in a little drive, we was in a little car, car porch, and we went to kissing and shit. And I remember, I never forget. He didn't know how to kiss. Oh my god, he bit my lip. I never forget. I never forget. But that's all I have for y'all. I I barely eat that ate that last piece of chicken. That shit was nasty. All that grease. Damn, no fuck. That's why I gotta start from work. But I'm about to eat these little beans. Let's just digest and I'm gonna go swimming. And that'll be my day. But thank y'all for watching. And make sure you stay tuned for all the late content that I have on the way. Make sure you tell your mamas, your daddies, your uncles, your brothers, your cousin, babies, mom, baby mamas, and baby daddies to subscribe to Life of Sassy and come join the LS gang, gang, gang. And until then, we are out.